Hello friends, I'm Nair Sheikh from blogdo.com and thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'll show you how to create an affiliate marketing price comparison website in the most easiest way possible. I'll teach you everything from scratch, everything from setting up and hosting account to installing WordPress, designing your website, creating affiliate account with Amazon, Flipkart, eBay, AliExpress, etc. I'll also teach you how to generate affiliate links and how to easily earn commissions on each affiliate sale. I had seen the top websites on internet that do affiliate marketing through price comparison website and I have tried to design our website exactly like that. Now let's see the demo website and compare it with the top affiliate marketing websites on the internet. So as you can see over here, this is the demo website which we'll be creating in this video. This is the home page. This is the top panel. At the top, we have our logo over here. Then we have our navigation bar. And as you can see, we have beautiful icons at the navigation bar and we have our menus. Then after that, we have our first section. As you can see, this is the first section. We have a beautiful background image. And after that, we have our title, subtitle. And after that, we have a beautiful search bar. Now this is Ajax search, which means that whenever you try to search something over here, it will automatically show you the result. As you can see over here, without typing, without going to the search page, you can see the live result over here. So this is Ajax search. Then after that, we have our second section. This is the discount section. So in this section, we'll be showing all the product which are on discount at present. As you can see, all the product over here are on discount. Then after that, we have this small section which says we are tracking prices from more than 20 most popular shops to give you best deals. Then after that, we have another section and this is a tab section. As you can see, we have different tabs over here. When we click on this tab, which says under $100, we get all the products which are under $100. Then we have the popular tab. When we click on this tab, we get all the popular products on our website. Then we have best rated tab. When we click on that, we get the best rated products. Okay. Then after that, we have popular in this month and we get all these products. Now it's all up to you. You can have any criteria over here. For example, you can have, you know, under or above over hundred dollars and you can show products which are over hundred dollars and so on. It's all up to you. Then after that, we have this section. This is actually a slider, as you can see, very beautiful slider with beautiful animations. And we have different uh, videos over here. These are YouTube videos. When we click on this, the video will start playing. After that, we have this section here. We have all our posts. Then we have the footer section. Now let's come at the top. Now let's see how our product page will look like. So this is how our product looks like. We have our images over here. We have the short description. We have the name of the product and here is the price list. We have this product on Amazon at this price, on Walmart at this price, on Flipkart at different price. So you can see all the prices over here and you can buy it from any website you want. We also have this price alert. So because if you, if the user doesn't get the price you want to see, he can enter his email address and click on this button which says start tracking. Once you do so, he'll be getting email notification whenever there is some price change in this particular product. This is all automatic. You don't have to do anything over here. In fact, you don't even have to upload these images. All these images will be automatically imported from Amazon or whatever website you're importing the product from. All the prices will automatically change whenever the price of the product changes on the main website that is on Amazon, eBay or Flipkart, any, any website. Then after that, at the bottom, we have the description. As you can see, we can use you know, bullet points, images, videos, everything in the description. Then we have an additional information section. You can see all the information. And then we have a video section. We'll be integrating with YouTube to see how to integrate with YouTube and we'll be importing different you know, videos over here. Then we have a custom section. I'll show you how to do this custom section accessories and combo so that we can promote other accessories also with this product. The reason behind doing this is, you know, getting more sales and more commissions. Then at the end, we have the review section. So this is how our product looks like. This is one design, but we can, you know, show the product in different designs. Let me show you another design. So this is another design. We have the description and buy for best price at the, in the middle. We have the images over here. 
and we have all these Amazon and, and different logos over here. We can also use some short codes and HTMLs to write some extra codes. For example, over here, you can see this thing. It says free delivery worldwide post mail. So most of the things are similar, but this is extra. So you can also add something like this. Now, whenever someone, you know, when clicks on this button, for example, they want to buy it for the best price, they'll click on this button. It will redirect them to Amazon and when they will make any purchase, Amazon will see that they have made purchase and Amazon will give you some commission on that. Now let us scroll down and see the second design. Now here in the first design, we have, we had the tab section as you can see over here. And in the second design, we have something different. The first description at the top, then after that we have additional information. So this is not tab section. Then after that we have videos. Then also we, we also have this price history section. Now you can add all these sections anywhere on the page. There are short codes available. We can just paste that short code and we can have this price history section anywhere we want or this video section anywhere we want on this page. Okay, so it's all up to you. You get a lot of uh, you know flexibility in designing the way you want your website to look. Now at the right hand side, we have this sidebar which says most popular this month. So these are the product that were most popular this month. Now we can also add some extra information, extra banners. For example, if you see over here, we have added this banner which says 20% discount till end of this month. Okay, so you can also do something like this. And the most amazing feature, most cool feature, in fact, all the features are cool over here. This theme, the rehab theme is really amazing. Now there is another amazing feature. If you see this product here, it says editor score 9.5 rating. So using this, you can also create a review post. Now that is very, very important. Many big giant websites use this criteria or this method to generate more sales, more affiliate sales. For example, CNET.com or TechRadar. For example, if you see TechRadar, they use the same strategy. As you can see, this is a review post. Okay, they have given a review for iPhone 7. It says iPhone 7 review. They have given four stars. And after that, we see they have given their verdict. They have shown the pros and cons. Then they have this thing. Uh, this is very important. You know, you can buy it from Flipkart, Amazon, Newegg and so on. You can click on this button. You will see all the deals. Now, whenever you click on this button and make a purchase, TechRadar will get a nice commission on that. So we'll see the same thing. And you have all these things over here, all this, you know, review. So we'll, we can do a very similar thing. Let me show you when you click on this button, which says read review, you will be redirected to this page. Now this is a review page. Okay. And we also have this sticky panel. This is a very cool feature. For example, you see design features gallery. Now you want to go directly to the video section. So you'll click on over here and you are now redirected to the video section. Okay. Now here also we have given some scores. So this is all uh, is done by me or by you whenever you try to create a website. I have given my score. I have given the pros and cons over here. Then after that, similarly, we have this thing over here where to buy. Now, whenever someone clicks on this button and makes a purchase, we'll get a commission. Okay. Again, we have price history and we have the review at the top. Okay. This is the review of this particular drone. Now let's see the shop page. So when you click on this button, which says shop, you will be redirected to the shop page. Okay. So this is our shop page and we have this nice criteria over here. We can, you know, sort it by different brands, you know, camera or different criteria. For example, now we can sort it by brand. So suppose I want GoPro. So I'll click on over here and I'll get only GoPros. Okay. Drone, which are using GoPro camera. So I can just untick this and everything will be normal. Now we can also sort it through pricing. For example, suppose I want a drone from zero to twenty five hundred dollars, then I'll get all these drones which are you know priced between zero to twenty five hundred dollars. Now, when you click on this button on sale products, you'll see only those products which are on sale. As you can see, it is forty nine percent sale, fifty six percent sale. So only the products which are on sale are shown over here. 
So I think this is it for the demo website. Actually, the website is quite huge, uh, but it is very easy to create. So if I go on showing all and every features in of the demo website, it will take some time. So I, I'll stop over here. I hope you guys now have a good idea about the website you're going, you're going to create. Now let's move forward. Let's proceed and let's see how to get a hosting and a domain. For those of you guys who don't know what a domain is, it is very simple. The website name which you see at the top here, it says rehub.nayashik.com. This is the domain name. For example, google.com, youtube.com, you know, facebook.com, all these things are domain name. It is the name of the website which you type on your URL bar to reach the website. For example, suppose you want to go to Google, you type google.com or google.in and you go to Google. So that is what basically a domain name is. So in this step, we'll see how to get a domain name and also how to get a hosting account. Now we'll get the perfect hosting account suitable for our website because this is not a regular website, a normal website. This is an e-commerce website and this is an affiliate e-commerce website. So for this, we need a different kind of hosting, not the regular hosting. So we'll see how to get that, how to do uh, everything in this step. So to do so, first open a new tab and type in blogdo.com slash tmd. This link is also given in the video description below. You can just click on that link. It will redirect you to this page. Now they are giving some discount on the regular host, uh, regular shared plan, but we don't want shared plan. As I said, you few moments ago that we won't be using the regular, you know, hosting. We'll be using something robust because our website is totally different. It's an affiliate e-commerce website. So what we'll do, we'll skip this and we'll click on this button, which says get into the cloud now because we'll be using cloud hosting, which is the perfect hosting for our website. Now, when you do so, you'll see three different plans, starter cloud, business cloud and an enterprise cloud. Now, let's see the different features and why we are choosing this hosting plan. So the first thing is six core CPU and six GB DDR4 RAM. Now, for those of you who don't know, in fact, everyone should know this is basically related to computers. The computer which these guys are using is a very nice, very robust computer. It has got a six core CPU and six GB of DDR4 RAM. Now, why is this important? Why seeing the con computer configuration is important? Because a hosting is nothing but a computer or a hard drive, which is running 24 seven, some in some part of the world so that whenever someone comes to your website, website, they can see all the data on your website because all the data on your website, whether it be the images, the codes, whatever is there on your website, all the data are stored in these hosting plans and you know, they have to be available 24 seven so that whenever someone comes or visits your website, they can see the data. So the computer which has your data, which runs your data has to be really robust, really fast so that it doesn't, you know, you know, slow down your website or so. So the computer which these guys are using is really nice. After that, we have unlimited bandwidth. Now, this is basically what does this mean? This is uh, the amount of or the limit of upload and download your website can have. So we can have unlimited amount of upload and download data on our website. So user can uh, download unlimited amount of data from our website and we can upload unlimited amount of data on our website because it is unlimited bandwidth. After that, we have the most amazing feature that is the SSD space. Now, most of you guys should know this, that SSD is way more better than the regular HDD. You know, it is a basic computer thing. But if you don't know this, you can just go to Google and type in SSD versus HDD web hosting and you'll see the results. Now, there are many different articles and posts written. You can read them. You will get a better idea. Now, let's click on images so that we don't have to read anything. Now, when you see the first result, this is the first result that pops up. Now here there are three different criteria and the first one is speed. So you, as you can see over here, the speed of SSD is way more better than the regular HDD. And here at the bottom is it says higher is better. And you can see the green one, which is the SSD is way more better, way higher than the regular HDD. 
The next one is IOPS. Here again, it says higher is better. Now, and you can see there is an insane amount of difference between both of them. SSD is really, really higher over here. Then the third one is latency. Now this time it says lower is better. Again, you can see there is a really insane amount of difference between both of them. And this one is really low, which means this is better. So this is a basic thing, you know SSD is way more better than the regular HDD and these guys have unlimited SSD space which is amazing. After that we have another awesome feature which is unlimited website hosted. Now this means that you can host unlimited website on this particular hosting account on one single hosting account. Now today we are creating this affiliate website. Now tomorrow you might need to create a different kind of website or just a regular website for your business. So you don't have to purchase a new hosting account for that. We can use this same hosting account and we can host that website or any other website in the same hosting plan. So we are saving a lot of money over here. After that, we have free domain. So when you sign up with any one of these three plans, you get a free domain. For example, nayashik.com is a domain name which I got for free when I signed up with TMD Hostings. Then we have premium support, free cPanel, nice web server, wildcard SSL. Now this is very, very important in today's time because recently I read an article, I don't know where. If I remember, I'll give you the link in the video description below, you can read that. Now that article says that from July onwards, July 2018, Google will say uh, all those websites which don't have SSL certificate. Now this is the SSL certificate. If you see over here, this green socket over here, this is the SSL certificate. Now all those websites which don't have SSL certificate, Google will mark them as not secure. So whenever user visits on their website and they, if the website doesn't have the SSL certificate, the browser, the Chrome browser will say that this website is not secure. Now we don't want that. We don't want anyone coming on our website and Chrome should pop up saying, you know what, this website is not secure. We don't want that. So with this thing is very, very important. SSL certificates are really, really important. It says the user, it gives confidence to the, to the user. It certifies the user that this website is a legit website, is a secure website. Now this is really crazy feature according to me. It has wildcard SSL. Now wildcard SSL means that you can have SSL certificates on unlimited number of domains and also on subdomains. Now this is really crazy because if you see the price of one single SSL certificate is you know anywhere between 40 to 400 dollars. So you're saving a lot of money over here. After that we have optimum cash memory instance of 256 MB performance is three times better than these two plans. And we also have a 60 days money back guarantee. So all these features are really, really amazing. And this is why I choose TMD for e-commerce websites. It has everything that we need for e-commerce website. So once you're satisfied with the plan, I would recommend you to select either the business plan or the enterprise cl plan, enterprise cloud plan. Don't select the starter cloud plan. The reason is very simple here. You can host only one website. So in the starter cloud, if you want, if you select starter cloud and if you want to create another website tomorrow, you will again have to purchase a new hosting plan. So that is not recommended. Either go with the business plan or the enterprise plan. So I highly recommend the enterprise plan because that is what I am using right now. Now, once you're satisfied, just click on this button, which says get started. Now here you have to put in the domain name which you want for free. It can be anything. For example, let me type in Nayashik1. Now I cannot type Nayashik because that is reserved. So I'm typing in so I'm typing in Nayashik1.com. And you can also select different extension from here. For example, if you're creating an NGO or a no, non-profitable website, then you can use .org. Or if you're creating any organization, then you can use this .org. If your website is country specific, for, for example, if your website is specific for one country like United States, then you can select .us. If your country is specific for India, you can select .in. You can select .net as well, but I highly recommend using the .com one because that is the most used and most reliable one. So type in your website name, whatever website name you want and select the extension and click on proceed. Now here you have to type in some basic information about yourself, like your first name, last name, phone number, email address and so on. 
then after that we have payment information you have to put in the payment information through which you want to make payment for example if you want to make payment through credit card or debit card or your atm card you can select this and you can select the type of your card and you can make payment for indians uh, those who are using rupee card rupee is not accepted over here so i would recommend you to use any card like mastercard or visa card something like that or if you don't have that you can also use paypal to make a payment after that it is a very important step purchase informations now the first step over here is data center location now if you open this you have a drop down you have few options over here and you have to select the one which says nearest to you for example for me singapore says nearest to me so i'll select singapore after that we have period number of period you have to select i highly recommend selecting 12 months okay don't ever select one month the reason is very very simple if you select one month you will have to pay seven dollars extra each month so by the end of the year you're already paying more than 80 dollars extra so don't waste your 80 dollars over here select 12 months and you will be saving a lot of money also you don't have to you know renew your website every month so your website is going down server down every month because of the renew uh, renew plan and so on so select 12 months that is the perfect thing now by default domain privacy is already tick mark now domain privacy is nothing but you know whenever you put in all this information like your basic information like first name last name and email address if you don't have this domain privacy anyone can see your you know name e uh, email address and last name but if you want to secure them you can select this if you don't uh, mind you know anyone seeing your name your email address you can just untick this thing after that we have the most important plan most important step over here because this is the step that will save us some money now this is a promo code you have to type in nayar 7 n a w y a r 7 numeric 7 and click on apply now when you do so you see it says this promo code gives you 7% off this purchase and 7% is the highest discount that tmd offers on cloud hosting so indirectly you are getting the highest discount possible so once you are done with all these steps, just tick mark over here which says I read, I agree to the TMD hosting terms of service. You can click on this link to read their terms of service. And once you're satisfied with everything, just click on this checkout button. Now, once you click on that checkout button, you'll receive an email from TMD hosting. Now, this email is very, very important because it has all the important information about your website. It has your FTP username, password, your server IP, name servers and so on. So it has all the important information that will help you every time you get into problem. So I would highly recommend you guys to save all this information somewhere that you can remember. If you have multiple email addresses, you can forward this to those different email addresses. Do anything, just make sure all this information is saved somewhere. Okay, now here at the bottom, you'll see a link which says control panel. Now open that link in a new tab. Okay, so this is your control panel. Now, whenever you go, you want to go to your control panel, you don't have to search for that link. You just have to type in your domain name slash cpanel. For example, my domain name is nayashik.com or blogdo.com. So I'll type in blogdo.com slash cpanel and I'll go to my cpanel. Now from that email address, copy the username and password and click on login. Okay, so this is our cpanel. Now what we have to do, we have to go at the bottom under Softaculous app installer section. And the first one is WordPress. Now we have to install WordPress on our website because we have registered the domain name. Now it's time to install WordPress on that domain name. So click on WordPress. Now click on this install now button. Now from here, make sure HTTPS is selected so that you know we have this secure so uh, socket, this SSL certificate on our website. Okay, so make sure HTTPS is selected and select your domain name from here. Okay, let me select mine. You will see only one domain name over here if you are doing it for the first time, but I know do it, I have done it for hundred of times. So I'm seeing different, many different domain names over here. Now in directory, you will see WP automatically typed in over here. You have to delete that. 
okay now make sure everything over here is empty the in directory box in directory thing is empty there is nothing over here after that we have site settings you have your site name and description over here you can change it okay your site name can be anything or your and your site description you know in few words you describe your website so that is what your site description is so make sure to change the site name and site description and you can also change these things later on from your wordpress dashboard if you have not decided any site name and description yet after that we have a very very important step which is the admin account now make sure you change your default username and password and you know put in your own custom username and password so i'm putting my custom email uh, username and putting a default password for this one and then we have the admin email just delete that email and put in any email which you use okay so i'm put, putting my email address over here then after that go through the bottom and click on this button which says install so wordpress is getting installed on your website on your domain name it will take few seconds just relax as i said you it took few seconds now we get two different links the first one is your website uh, is just your domain name your website link and the second one is your dashboard link so click on the second link now we can get rid of this okay guys this is our dashboard this is the area from where we can control everything that happens on our website okay the first thing that we have to do we have to click on this link which says appearances click on appearances from the left hand side now as you can see over here by default two or three themes will be automatically or will be already there on your website now we don't want these themes so what we'll do we'll delete them we'll click on over here and click on delete click on ok same thing with this one now for those of you who are you know very new to wordpress who are who don't know anything about wordpress themes are nothing but the design of your website it's a pre-made design so you don't have to do any coding or so on you just install a new theme and boom you your website has a new beautiful design and if you want to see how your website is looking at present you'll see this link over here my blog and after that we have this visit site you can open this link in a new tab now this is how your website is looking at present but we don't want anything like this we want a beautiful website like this one okay so we'll see how to do everything from step by step first come back over here and now go to plugins from the left hand side you'll see this link plugins click on plugins so you'll see there are already few plugins uh, you know installed we don't want any on of this plugin so i'll select this one and from bulk action i'll delete them and now for those of you guys who are again new to wordpress who don't know what are plugins plugins are actually ways to increase the functionality or to expand the functionality of your website for example by default you know wordpress is not an e-commerce platform it's just a simple website uh, platform so you can create simple blogs and a simple website using wordpress but suppose you want to create an e-commerce website so this is not the default functionality of wordpress so to make your website e-commerce friendly what you do you install a new plugin that would expand the functionality of wordpress and that would you know enable your website to be e-commerce okay so for that we have a plugin called woocommerce that makes wordpress websites e-commerce okay i hope it is clear now so now let's start designing our website so to do so first we need a theme a beautiful theme so we are using the most perfect theme for this uh, for this website for this tutorial so to get that theme what you have to do you have to open this in a new tab and type in blog com slash rehub now this link is also given in the video description below you can just click on that link and it will redirect you over here so this is the theme that we need it is the rehub price comparison blah 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 theme okay it has got around 10,000 sales and it is it has got a really terrific rating as you can see 4.92 rating now this is one of the best rated theme on this platform okay 700 people have rated this theme this is really amazing you can see everything about this theme you can just scroll down 
and you can read everything about this theme so this is the theme that we'll be using so what you have to do you have to go at the top and uh, over here and just click on this buy now button and purchase this theme now i won't be doing that because i have already purchased this theme so let me cancel this thing now come back over here and click on appearances to install this theme now before installing this theme there could be one problem for most of the websites now let me explain you what that problem is hover over media from the left hand side and click on add new now here if you see it says upload uh, maximum upload file size is only 2 mb now we'll have to increase this we'll have to make it 64 mb now it is really easy to do so just open filezilla if you're using filezilla if you don't know how to use filezilla how to set up filezilla for your website there is a video on my channel you can search for that i recently uploaded it i'll try to give that link in the video description below that will help you that link will help you in setting up filezilla so if you don't know how to set up filezilla you can watch that video so open filezilla and search for your website for example here my website name is rehub1.nayashik.com so there will be one folder uh, with your website name so let me find that oh, rehub1 here it is rehub1.nayashik.com open this and here we have a file which says .ht access now we have to you know move this file or you have to just drag this file to your desktop if you don't know whether your desktop is selected or not you can see from here and you can select your desktop from here and you can just drag this file on your desktop okay so let's see let's visit our desktop here as you can see this is the file now let's open this file i'm using a text editor sublime text it is free you can use the same text editor to open this so let's open this one okay so when you open this this is how it will look okay this is the thing now we have to paste in some code over here that will solve the problem so that is really easy just go to my website blogtoot.com in fact you don't even have to go to my website i'll give a link to the exact you know post which i'm talking about this is the post you know i'll give a link to this post just in the video description below click on that link and it will redirect you over here and here we have some line of code at the bottom copy this go to that file and you can paste it over here okay let's paste it okay once you paste it over here just press ctrl s to save the file and just cut this thing now again go to filezilla refresh this section the desktop section now drag this file again to your website file it will ask you to overwrite it as you can see here just select overwrite and click on ok it says transfer finished now the problem should be solved let's see so again come back over here earlier it said 22 mb now let's refresh and this time it should say 64 mb here it is 64 mb now that is fine now come to appearances and click on add new click on upload files choose files and choose the file which we have downloaded now you'll see you'll when you download that file from uh, that theme forest the link which i have given you you'll see a file something like this here it is theme forest and it will say some number like this now you don't have to upload this file or don't do the mistake of uploading this file this is not the file which we have to download you have to extract this file so when you extract this file you will get a folder by the same name and inside that folder you will see this file rehab file now this is the file that you have to upload okay so select this file and click on open now click on install now so your file is getting installed your theme is getting installed you can see the progress at the bottom left corner of your browser if you're using google chrome and by the time your theme is getting installed i would request you guys to please like this video comment in this video if you have any doubt you can put them in the comment section below if you have any request for me if you want me to make you know a particular kind of video for you a particular kind of website for you just let me know in the comment section below and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that small bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos so the file is uploaded the theme which we wanted to upload is uploaded now we have to activate the theme so just click on this link activate link 
fine so it is activated now you have to enter the theme for its username and purchase code over here to register the theme registering the theme is very important if you don't register the theme it will be very difficult for you to proceed further in this video to follow me further in this video because you know you have to have these things so i'm putting my username over here and the first purchase code over here and click on submit so as you can see it says registration complete you have full access to the theme now now after completing the registration what you have to do you have to click on this link which says begin installing plugins so click on that this link now tick mark over here it will select all the things and from the bulk action click on install and click on apply so we are installing few plugins you know very useful plugins that will help us you know create convert this website into something like this okay so all the plugins are installed now it's time to activate so click on this link return to required plugin installer now again tick mark over here it will select everything now from bulk action select activate and click on apply fine so now there is no plugins to install or update or activate now let's come back to our website and let's refresh and see the changes okay so our website is looking totally different now but still it is not like the demo website so let's do that let's start creating and let's start making our website like the demo website now it is really really easy to do so now let me show you one thing you know normally if you have followed any one of my previous video any one of my videos you will see that i don't install the demo site to create the website to make the video tutorial i do everything from scratch but there is a problem over here for example let me show you something now when i try to add a new post when i try to type a new post when i you know hover over this post and click on add new now let's see what happens okay as you can see i can type it over here but i'm not able to type in this section okay also i'm not able to create a new category as you can see when i click on this button which says add new category nothing happens so there is a problem over here and i tried to fix that problem i tried a lot but i just failed so there is only one solution to this one and that is installing the demo site now that is what uh that is uh not what i do but here i have to do that because this is not working there is something wrong with this whenever you install this content like plugin this is what happens okay so to solve this thing we'll have to do that so to do so just hover rehub and click on demo stacks now before proceeding further just remember the login and password you can just copy it and save it somewhere okay so the login is rehab demo you know everything in small letters and the password is rehab pass triple nine triple seven just remember this okay now here there are many different designs as i said you theme is nothing but a design you can select any one of these okay you can select any one and click on this link download it and install it now the one which i have installed is this one first one recompare so what i'll do i'll click on this link button and i'll get another link which will you know allow me to download this file so click on this file download as you can see one file has started downloading now i won't download this thing i'll just cancel it because i have already downloaded it so i'll just cancel this one now what i'll do i'll install these things manually because i have already downloaded these things so after you download the file what you have to do you have to add a new plugin so hover plugins and click on add new now the plugin that we need is all in one migrate all in one wp migration okay here is the spelling as you can see all in one wp migration and this is the plugin okay this has got more than 1 million active installs and around 4000 people have rated it 5 star so this is a perfect plugin there is nothing wrong with this one so click on install now and this one is by serve mask so just make sure you're installing the one by serve mask now click on activate okay so as you can see it is now activated so once it is activated you'll see a new link over here at the left hand side all in one wp migration hover that and click on import 
now from here select import from and select file the first option because we have to import from a file and select that file which we just imported now select that file so here it is recompare demo.wp soul something something just select this file click on open and now everything is getting installed all the demo website all the demo data is getting installed on your website so this will take some time uh, so by the time is getting installed by the time everything is getting installed on our website i'll pause this video and once everything is done i'll continue okay guys so as you can see now it says this will overwrite your website including database and everything now you just have to click on this proceed button okay so it is preparing something it is you know now it again it will be restoring all the files again it will take some time so let's wait i'll fast forward this one so that you don't have to waste your time over here well guys so as you can see now it says your data has been imported successfully so just click on this close button now click on over here to visit this site and you will be shocked as i said you guys you will be shocked now you don't have to do anything and you have the complete website in front of you okay so we have clicked created the complete website but don't worry i know what you guys are thinking you know i'm not i'm not going to do this i'm going to show you everything step by step from scratch how to do everything so that you because i know this is not the website that you have to create you have to change everything you have to change the you know title subtitle or something you have to change your product this is not the product you're going to sell you might you know want to sell some mobile phones or something like that so i'll show you everything just don't worry but the thing here is the main reason was so that we are able to you know upload data and we are able to create new post and new products which we are not able to do earlier now if you see the wordpress bar is gone from the top which means we are locked out and again we'll have to log in to the website to the dashboard so to do so go to your url type in your website name slash wp dash admin press enter now first we'll have to type in this rehab demo and in the password type in rehab demo r and d should be capital triple nine triple seven and click on login fine so the first thing that we have to do is you know create a new user and delete the rehab demo user okay because that is dangerous anyone can use that rehab demo because everyone knows that that is the username and they can come to your website and they can you know do some damage so first we'll have to create a new user so how are users from the left hand side and click on add new now let's put in a username so i'll put in real nayar email address i'll put in my email address real nayar at gmail.com first name nayar last name shake website show password now i'll put in my own custom password so i'll type in the password which i want okay so this is the password which i want role you have to select administrator okay this is very important make sure all the you know things are right over here all the data is right username email address password and everything once you're done with this click on add new user so the user is now added so what do you have to do now we have to log out from this account the rehab demo account and we have to log in with the new account okay so type in the username and password over here and remember me and click on login fine now what we have to do we have to delete the username the demo username so again click on users you'll see this one now delete this rehab demo delete all content no we don't have to delete all content we have to attribute all the content to this user which we have just created okay so don't delete all content just attribute all the content to this user new user and click on confirm deletion fine now let's come back to our website let's refresh again and see the changes okay so everything is there nothing is uh, deleted now we'll have to do some changes as you can see the uh, the title and the description are recompare demo and recompare demo site you have to change this you have to put in your own 
website name and in your own description so again come back to this dashboard so come back to your website and click on settings here it is site title recompare demo you can change this so i'll type in my site name you can type in anything you want and tagline you can put anything so i don't know what to put so i'll just put in tagline over here and uh, rest everything is fine just click on save changes now there is one more important setting that is the permalink so let me see whether that is correct so under settings you will see the last option is permalinks click on that okay so this is the perfect setting but uh, i know one setting which is better than this one so now from here instead of post name or any other name select custom structure and delete everything from here now select category then post name so just have to click on category first then post name and after that click on save changes let's come back to our website refresh and everything should be fine okay so nothing has happened everything is fine now we'll have to do some changes in the woocommerce because the woocommerce which we uh, installed because this is a demo website all the data are according to the demo website th which they created now we'll have to change those data so hover woocommerce and click on settings fine so you'll have to put in your address over here so let me put in my address mumbai now country and state now put in type in the state name so i'm from maharashtra which is in india so i'll type in that now to which all country you're selling to so we are selling to all the countries basically over here or if you're selling only in one country so you can select sell to specific country and you can select that country but this is basically a affiliate website you're not selling any physical product yourself you're just redirecting people to different websites so we can easily select set to all countries or sell to all countries and we don't want to enable any taxes and calculations so as i said you earlier guys this is a very simple website you know the the idea is quite you know sophisticated but creating it is really simple okay so we don't have to do any taxation and uh, everything you have to select the currency so i'll select indian rupee over here okay because i want everything in indian rupee i'll be selecting only indian websites like amazon.in flipkart and so on so click on save changes after that rest everything you don't have to do it you just have to go to the last one emails and make sure your email address is proper over here uh, if your email is not proper just you know click on this button configure icon and put in a proper email address okay so i'm putting my email address and I click on save changes okay now go back again click on emails now let's change the second one okay save changes again come back to emails let's change the third one okay now this is very important okay because whenever some new orders or anything is there you'll get a notification on this email address and here also we have at the bottom just type in your email address over here fine and from your name okay your name or your website name your company name whatever you want click on save changes okay so this is the only setting that we have to do in woocommerce woocommerce is actually a very nice plugin but you don't have to do much setting because we are not actually selling the product as i said you we are just redirecting users to different websites and those guys are selling the product amazon ebay and they are selling the product not we so we don't have to do much setting over here so once doing all these things you will see a new tab at the left hand side which would say content egg at the bottom okay follow my cursor and you'll see it now click on content egg now this is the most important plugin to create this kind of website okay now as you, if you see this is the uh, everything is filled automatically because we have installed the demo website but you don't have to worry we'll i'll show you step by step how to put in your data over here and this step is very very important because if you don't change these th settings from here then the person who has created the website the website creator will get all the commissions because he has put in his 
affiliate link and we have to change that we and we have to put in our affiliate link so that we get the commission not the website creator now from before proceeding further let me uh, tell you one thing guys the content egg plugin which is installed in this website is is a free version of the content egg so you get only amazon option over here so if you want to use eBay, Paytm, Flipkart, those kind of so services, AliExpress and those kind of services, then you will have to install the premium content egg plugin. Okay. Uh, but if you're fine only with Amazon, if you're going to do only Amazon affiliate marketing, then you can, you're, you know, you're all right with this free plugin. But for most of you guys, I'll, I think you will be using multiple you know accounts multiple websites to do affiliate marketing so i'll show you how to use the pro plugin as well okay so to get the pro plugin to get the paid plugin premium plugin just open a new tab type in blogdo.com slash egg okay blogdo.com slash e double g egg now this link is also given in the video description below so you can click on that link and you will be redirected to this page so this is the plugin the most important plugin okay this is also a very nice plugin it has got around 700 sales and I'll, this also has a very terrific rating of around 4.9 which is really amazing so again you have to purchase this but i won't be purchasing it because i have already done that so once you purchase this once you download this thing cancel this thing come back to your dashboard and first thing if you want to use the Pro, pro plugin the premium plugin you will have to deactivate the free plugin so click on plugins and first let's update everything okay there are a few plugins that needs uh, updation so what i'll do i'll click on this thing it will select everything and from bulk action i'll select update and click on apply now it will update all the plugins one by one Okay guys, so all the plugins are successfully updated. As you can see, it says updated, updated, everything is updated. Now we'll have to deactivate and delete this content egg plugin. So let's click on deactivate. Now let's delete this plugin, click on OK. Now we'll have to upload the new plugin, the premium plugin. So click on add new. Now click on upload plugin, choose file and select the premium plugin file. So this is the pl plugin file, premium plugin file and select it, click on open. Now click on install now, it will take few seconds. Okay, it is installed. Now click on activate plugin. Okay, so to proceed further, first you will have to uh, enter the license key, only then you will be able to proceed, uh, you'll be able to proceed further. So I have my license key, I'll put it over here and click on save changes. Okay, once you put in your license key, now as you can see, we have so many different options. Earlier we had only Amazon, now we have AliExpress, Amazon, Flipkart, Flickr, Envato, eBay, Clickbank, Coupon, you know, so many different things. YouTube, Walmart, VK News, Udemy, Wigglings, so many different options. So obviously we cannot go, uh, you know, behind all each and every option to see how everything is done. But I'll show you how to do the major uh, major companies like Amazon and Flipkart. Amazon is the number one company we all know. And Flipkart is the leading company, leading e-commerce company in India. So I'll be covering those two plugins. First, we'll see the general settings. So click on general settings, which is the first option over here. Now, first uh, option is website language. It is English. Post type, I would recommend you to select all the post types. Now, what does this mean? So this means that you can, uh, what, what type of post do you want to use content egg plugin? So I want to use this plugin on all type of post, whether it is post, page or product, everything. Now filter bots, make sure this thing is tick mark. Button color, you can select any button color of your choice. It's all up to you. After that, buy now button text. So by default, if you see in this website, let me open any one of the product. Here the button says buy now. So by default it says buy now as you can see at the bottom it says it will be used instead of buy now. So instead of buy now if you want some this button to say something else you can type it over here. Like you can if you want to this button to say click here you can type in click here. Once you type in click here over here all the buttons over here will say click here instead of buy now. 
so you can do so you can add any button link over here again for shop sale if you want something else you can type in some different text or anything like this price history now if you see at the bottom we have price history not in this product okay but we have seen that in the demo website there is something called price history over here let me show you okay i think uh, which product it was let me find that product which has a price history okay so i think this one has price history let's go at the bottom okay here it is so as you can see over here it shows the price uh, history of 180 days so you can select 180 days if you want you can reduce or increase this number price drop period used for last 30 days you can select anything from your price alert allow members to subscribe for price drop alert on email now this is this option over here okay we had one option over here which will you know when user want to get price alerts regarding this product they'll put in their email address and click on you know i want to get the alert and whenever some uh, whenever amazon drops this price or any other website drops this price that user will get an, uh, get an alert and when they will get that email uh, alert and they will click on that link and they'll make any purchase again you will get some commission so this is very important step make sure it is tick mark now from here type in the name of your company from which they will be getting the email so you can type in the name of your company or you can just type in your name and email address from which they'll getting uh, they'll be getting all these things now search modules just uh, select one or two from here for example i'm selecting only amazon and flipkart don't select too many modules over here it will make your website slower okay now don't delete this thing don't do anything with this one just let it be as it is now modules for uh, synchronization select all the ones which you plan to use for example i plan to use amazon and flipkart so i'll select amazon and flipkart from here now uh, automatic synchronization select minimum price or uh, attribute synchronization also synchronize attributes uh, automatically for synchronized product just select this one if you want so you know if the if the product has different attributes all these attributes will also be synchronized for example if you're selling iphone 7 it has an attribute of maybe 128 gb the color is rose gold so all those attributes will also be taken it will be imported from amazon or different website so if you want that just tick mark this thing now you can whitelist or blacklist some uh, attribute name for example you can just uh, select blacklist over here and you can put in the attribute name okay it's all up to you now how is that important suppose you don't want the attribute to, you know, maybe color on your website so you'll just select blacklist and just type in color over here in this column so the color attribute will not be imported on your website that is what it means okay now click on save changes so these were our basic settings our general settings now let's go to amazon click on amazon from here now we'll have to do all these settings over here so the first thing that you have to do is make sure this thing is tick mark enable module okay after that add what type of uh, how do you want to add this thing at the end of the post at the beginning of the post or short codes only make sure short codes only is selected because that is the most amazing option because you, you know using short codes you can put this thing these products anywhere on the page at the beginning at the end in the middle anywhere you want priority type in 10 template you can select any template a template from here i'm selecting the product card you can put in a, any title you want for example for amazon the title will basically be amazon so just type in amazon featured image if you want to set featured image the first image as the featured image you can select it i would recommend you to uh, select don't set because it is all it is automatically set i'll show you you'll understand more when we'll start importing product you'll understand all these settings more at that time 
update by keyword now how many times or at what time uh, do you want your keywords to update so you can enter that time in seconds so if you want to increase the time you can increase the seconds if you want to decrease the time you can decrease the seconds now price update again how many times do you want or your price on the website to update so i have put in this number i want this the i want the prices of my website to uh, update every this much second i think this is one hour i don't know let me find out seconds today okay it is one day okay so i so we have selected one day so every single day the price will be updated so this is what it means update mode by page view make sure page view is selected now this is the most important step access key then we have key id and default tracking id now you have to change these things because this is the most important thing so instead of these keys we want our own keys so open a new tab and just type in amazon affiliate program and let's see here it is affiliate program dot amazon dot in or if you are from us dot amazon dot com or if you are from canada dot amazon dot ca accordingly you can select your country from here also i am selecting india click on login and make sure you have created an account already you already have an account uh, affiliate account with amazon it is really easy to create it will take two minutes or so i have already created it now click on login okay fine so first thing that we need is our access key id and the access key secret access key so to get that you will see at the top we have tools hover tools and click on product advertising api fine now we have some different options over here here it says manage your credentials now click on this button which says manage credentials now type in your email address over here click on next and type in your password click on sign in now you can just click on this button continue to security credentials and you will see all your credentials and you can just copy and paste it over here or if you want you can create a new user and that is more easy and that is more suitable let me explain you just click on this button create started with i am a user i already have one user over here now what i'll do i'll add a new user now there are many benefits of adding a user so that you can track the you know how much sale this particular user is doing or how much sale this particular uh, key is doing for example you're using amazon affiliate link but you might be creating different websites different website for different niche for example this website we are creating for phones cell phones smartphones but you will you might create another website for drones uh, and third website for computer peripherals and so on so you will be using the same keys but what we can do is we can use the same key but assign different usernames so that we can see what username or what website is performing better if you don't do uh, this username thing if you have one single key for all the websites you won't know which website is performing better okay i hope you guys understand that if you don't don't worry just you know follow me you'll understand everything when the right time comes you can type in any username now what i would recommend you is to type in the website name so that you can track the success or the progress of the website so i'll just type in rehab nayar shake now access type just select the first one programmatic access and click on next now click on this button attach existing policies directory and the first option is administrative access select that one just tick mark that okay and now scroll down and click on next review okay so you can see now you're giving administrative access to this username which is good now click on create user now we have our access key and the secret uh, key so just copy the access id from here come back over here delete the old one and paste in the new one again for the secret access key copy it delete the old one and paste in the new one now we have the default tracking id again come back to this website and now just you know come let's just click on this back icon come back to the main page 
or you can just type in the main page uh, link which is affiliate which is affiliate program dot amazon dot in i guess yes that is the link just type in that link you will be redirected to the main page now here at the top you see your store name now this is what you have to copy it will have some number dash 21 something like this at the end so just copy it from here come back delete it and paste it over here fine now default location for me it is india so i'll select india over here results number of results for one search query you can increase or decrease this one you can have 10 you can have 5 it's all up to you results for update you can increase or decrease this number link type make sure it is product page not add to cart add to cart will you know add the product to cart and they will have to check out so that is not what we want we just want the product page so when the user click on, clicks on this button they are redirected to the product page now categories for search make sure all is selected now we can just uh, leave all these things blank because these are not really important steps and uh, if you want you can just type in you know the id for different locales like us uk and all these things i already have for india so again you can type it over here and click on save changes okay so this is it for amazon once you do all these settings you will see this green dot before amazon now let me show for Flipkart as well because there are many people who will be from India watching from India and Flipkart is the leading e-commerce giant in India. So I wanted to show these steps for Flipkart as well. The steps are basically same for all the uh, companies like AliExpress, Flipkart, eBay, whatever it is. The steps are almost same. So let me go to Flipkart affiliates, so open a new tab type in affiliate flipkart you'll get the link here it is affiliate.flipkart.com just enter your username password click on login or you can just join for free now from the left hand side you'll see affiliate tools or maybe api just click on api then the second option is api token click on api token and you will have your tracking id and your token so very simple just copy your tracking id from here come back over here and here it is just paste your tracking id then copy the token from here and paste in your token over here fine now let's see other options here also it will be short code only 10 big product card theme don't set which is the same options you can you know change the price update and keyword update from here results you can increase or decrease this number trim description you can you know have this description thing over here and click on save changes now similarly you can do it for any website you want you know for walmart for aliexpress whatever you want but i don't want to do this i just want to use these two things okay and youtube is already done but you have to and what if you see over here walmart is also active now make sure you deactivate that because you don't want other someone else getting commission for your work okay so make sure you go to walmart and just tick mark over here or just remove this tick mark which says e e enable module but I don't want to do that. I want to use that because that looks cool because this is not the website. This is not the actual website. This is just a tutorial purpose demo website. So I just want to use that. Okay, so I don't want, I won't, I, do, I won't remove for Walmart and AliExpress. I want to have it because I want to have more options. Now go to YouTube. Now this is also very important because we want short YouTube tutorials at the bottom of the video. Now all the options will be same, template simple, priority 10, short codes only. You just have to enter the API key. Now to get this API key, you will have to follow these instructions. Okay, you have to click or create a new API console and paste in the API key over here. So I won't show that, that is very easy. I have shown that many different times. You can just follow this link and click on create a new api and just paste it over here and click on save changes okay so the main settings are done which was the woocommerce settings and the content x settings now it's time to create the product so let's start and let's create our first product so to create a product hover products from the left hand side and click on add new 
okay so the first product that i want to create is maybe iphone let's create let's create something different because we don't want to create this drones we want something uh, different so i'm just typing in maybe iphone 7 okay or maybe a very specific iphone 7 rose gold 128 gb very specific okay now you don't have to put in the description and image and so on it uh, everything will be done automatically okay so i won't put anything over here i'll simply uh, scroll down and you can create a new category you can just click on add new category and let's create a new category mobiles and click on add new category okay so this will be under this category now under aliexpress under amazon and under flipkart you just have to type in the product name and you can find the product so let me type in this under amazon and click on this search bar okay fine so we can see different options over here this is the one apple iphone 7 rose gold 128 gb so i'll select this one now i'll type in the same thing in flipkart okay again type in click on that search bar okay here is this apple iphone 7 rose gold 128 gb now same for aliexpress okay let's see this whether we have this product over here okay it says not found which is not a problem now what i'll do i'll include some youtube videos related to this keyword so i'll just type in the same keyword and click on search and let's include four different videos let's select first four videos fine so we'll have this video so here and you don't have to put in any price or anything over here everything will be done automatically everything will be imported from those websites and it will be put over here you don't have to put in anything you also don't have to put in any image here it is product image and so on everything will be imported because as i said you earlier guys creating this website is really really easy everything is just imported you don't have to do anything at all so once we are done with this just click on publish let's cut this thing now let's view this product in a new tab now if you see over here this is actually not the type of product that we want okay we are getting this option which says add to cart and so on and it is looking ugly now that is because we have selected a different layout we don't want this layout product layout we have to change it now there are two layouts that you can select one is content egg list and the second one is content egg auto sections so let's select the first one content egg list let's click on update now come back to this page refresh and let's see the changes so as you can see this is how it looks now this is the uh, this is the kind of design that we want here we have the image as you can see now there is some discount going on 3% discount and we have this thing over here we didn't have to put that discount manually we have it automatically we have all the images automatically over here and we have the price list over here on flipkart on amazon it is for 59 55999 and on flipkart for the same price 55999 now user can purchase it from anywhere they can purchase it from amazon if they want they can just click on this button buy now they can purchase it and we'll get a commission now if you see over here in the in the url bar i have my link over here this is my id okay so we know that this thing is working okay this is my id so this thing is working fine then we have this awesome feature over here the user can put in his email address and desired price for example when this when the user wants to get alerts whenever the price drops he can just you know put in his email address and the desired price he want and click on this start tracking and whenever the price drops he'll get an email from us so that is very important now we have additional information over here now as i said you earlier we don't have to do anything everything is imported from amazon we don't have to do anything we didn't type even a single thing and everything is imported okay now when you click on videos these are the four videos that we selected there are no reviews available but you can import reviews as well from amazon which i don't recommend by the way okay and we have most popular this month so this is how we create a simple product a single product that is very very easy so i know creating this product was really amazing really awesome 
now let me sh show show you some more awesome stuff so if you see the demo website I, I i have shown you this thing that we can have a connected review with the website or with the product and that is very very useful i have shown you if you if you have seen if you are seeing this video from beginning without skipping you might have seen at the beginning in the demo section i showed you how you can you know add this section over here we can give some rating through the product according to us so i have given 9.5 rating to this thing and we have this review over here okay which is connected to this product okay when whenever someone clicks on the this read review they'll open this link and this is the review of this product we have all this uh design and features we have these images we have the gallery over here okay videos then we have given our scores, the pros and cons of this product, where to buy. So we have given some links over here, price history. And at the bottom, we have this price, uh, price alert whenever something happens. So let's create this review so that, you know, we can create our website more stronger and we can, you know, increase the chances of getting sales, of getting more commissions. Because when whenever someone searches on Google for reviews on that particular product, there are very high chances that your website will also rank high and user will come to your website. They will read the review and if they are interested, they can purchase it from here. They can click on this link and you'll get a commission on that. Okay, so let's see how to do this. So let let us add a review to this product. Okay, so first what we'll have to do, we'll have to create a review. So at the top over here, you will see new plus new. So hover that and click on post or maybe open this link in a new tab. So we'll have to create a new post. So I'll name it or I'll give it a title very simple iPhone 7 review. Fine. Now what I'll do, I won't type anything over here because that will take a lot of time. I'll go to Google type in iPhone seven rose gold review okay so that we can do some copy paste now let's select this link cnet let's see how it looks okay not bad but i don't want to copy it from here let me cut this let's open the second link macworld let's open this one macworld.com Okay, so this looks quite decent. So I'll copy something from here. Let me copy till camera. Okay, I don't want to copy much. I, don't, I just want to copy it till here. Fine. Copy it and paste it over here. So we have everything. We have the images and so on. Now make sure you have the title at the top and make sure that title is heading to. If you don't know how to do that, let me show you. Let for example, this is your title. So just select this title and select this paragraph and select heading two. Okay. So make sure you have titles. Okay. For example, this is the title. Then this is the second title, better screen storage. And after that, we have the third title camera. Now I'll show you and I'll explain you why did I say that? Why do I want you to have a title over here? This is very important. I'll explain you in a moment. Okay. So once you have this thing, let's see in the demo website what we have next where is that gone let's read this review and let's see what we have next so after all these reviews we have this gallery section okay so let's add the gallery section over here let me add a title of gallery and as i said you if you add a title just select that and select heading to from here and after that, we'll have to add the galleries. So instead of adding all the gallery, what you have to do, you have to upload the images, gallery images. So here at the right hand side, you'll see post thumbnails and videos. So click on add post gallery images and you can select some files. You can upload some files, but I won't do that. I'll go to media library and I'll select any images. So, okay, not necessary, you know, related to iPhone or something. I'll just, I just select these four images, okay, drone images and click on add to gallery. So once you do so, at the bottom, you'll see something called short code. Here it is. Okay, if you, I don't know if you could see. Okay, make sure you watch this video in the full screen on a laptop on a, or on a computer so that you can see all the details clearly. So here at the bottom, 
there is a short code if you don't see these things don't worry there is a link given in the video description below go to that link and download a file which is for free i have given that file for free and therein you will find all the short short codes that you can use on this website so let me show you that file okay so the link is given in the video description below go ahead and download it it's free so this is the file short codes file okay these are all the short codes so the first one the gallery one okay here it is the gallery's short code as you can see here it says gallery and after that we have the short code okay this is the exact short code which is there over here i have just you know uh, collected all the short codes in one single file for your convenience so you can copy it from here and come back over here and just paste it under gallery okay now before proceeding further now let's do some more important settings because we have to do something more we have to add video section r score section but before that let's let's cut this thing first all these things and this as well first thing is to choose the type of post okay so by default the regular post is selected but we don't want the regular post we want a review post so if you see this one is a review one if you select this one it is a review and when you select this you get some more options at the bottom we'll see all these things later on first let's see the progress till which we have done so click on publish now let's view this post in a new tab let's see how it looks at present okay so this is how it is looking we have this post over here we have these images and as you can see after gallery we have our images we didn't put our images over here we just put this simple short code and it had put all these images which we uploaded over here now after gallery we have let's see what we have we have i guess videos yes we have videos so let's type in video over here and because it is a title or it i'll, I'll just select this and select heading 2 and after that we want to add some videos so we cannot add videos over here so what we'll do we'll go at the bottom and here we have youtube section so from here just type in iphone 7 or whatever product you have iphone 7 rose gold and click on this search bar okay let me select four videos four beginning videos fine so this is looking better so we have our videos over here now under video section what you have to do you have to add the short code but you you won't get the short code now first you'll have to publish this post or you have to update this post but before updating that post if you see in the short code file the first short code is sticky panel so copy this short code this sticky panel short code and paste it at the top okay at the top of your post the first thing should be this and select it and make sure it is paragraph now you'll understand the reason i always why i always say that you have to select your you know title and make it heading two after putting this thing click on update first now if you see over here let's go at the top we don't have anything over here now after we refresh you'll see something now we have this section over here we have a10 fusion camera gallery so this is this section is because of this beautiful short code this sticky panel short code so it detects all the h2 on your post and it makes a list like this so if you want to go to the camera section you can just click on camera and if you want to go to the videos section you can just click on this video so we don't have any video over here because first we need short code so scroll down now we will find the short code now as you can see uh, before, after this video we have this short code you can just copy it from here and you can select short code template as well now simple title slider theme responsive theme now these these are different templates now the one which i have used over here is slider one so you can select a uh, uh, short code template slider theme and you can click on this short code copy it from here go at the top and paste it after this video section click on update okay uh, once we refresh we'll have videos under this video section let's see let's refresh 
okay as you can see we have four different videos under the video section so all the work is done by short code it is really really easy and this short code is also given in the list if you see over here it is under videos this short code is also given so you can use this short code from there also as well if you want now let's see what we have next after videos we have the most important thing which is our score now you can you know just change the uh, direction or change the place where you want this thing for example if you want this thing our score section at the top or if you want the video section at the top you can just you know copy this thing the video short code this section you can copy it and paste it at the top so this section will be at the top so you don't have to follow my structure you can create your own structure now let's put this thing so the title is our score so come back over here let's type in our score as the title so let's come down type in our score and because it is a title we'll make it heading 2 select it select heading 2 and after that we have uh, this uh, review the actual review so let's add the review over here first thing is review heading so how this would look this is how this is the heading best drone so i'll put in best phone maybe or maybe best smartphone now summary text now this is where the summary text will come so i'll just copy the same text and paste it over here now what are the pros which you find in this phone and what are the cons that you find in this phone so pros can be like camera or design color it's all up to you, you can just type in anything actually you just cannot type in anything you have to type what are the pros of the phone and what are the cons of the phone it's all up to you now cons can be i don't know no cons no issues i would i'll type in no issues and make sure this thing is enabled uh, enable short code inserting so that we can use this short code okay the short code is very simple review short code copy it and come at the top and just paste this short code okay and we forgot one thing to give this score let's give it a score of maybe 8.5 or 9 let's give it a score of 9 and uh, let's come at the top and click on update come back over here and now after we refresh we should have that section below this video section let's see let's refresh okay so up below this video section now we have our score section best smartphone nine score we have this thing over here pros camera design color cons no issues okay so this is how it works now let's see what we have next so after this we have simple text which says where to buy this thing from and after that we have some more short codes which which is giving us this uh, section so let's do that let's come over here let's put where to buy thing okay where to buy this product from and let's come at the bottom and let's search for this product which is iphone 7 rose gold okay rose gold it was i guess 128 gb you have to be very specific i think it was not available on aliexpress so i'll not search on aliexpress let's go to amazon click on search okay the first one select it let's go to flipkart click on search again the first one now let's also use walmart select this click on search i think is it this one maybe yes yeah iphone 7 128 gb rose gold select this one now we have to copy this short code okay here it is so you can just copy this short code and you can change this style it is list widget with store logo so you can just uh, change the style of how it looks then after that you can just copy this short code and paste it over here let's see how it looks okay go at the top and click on update now come back to this page refresh and everything should be fine hopefully okay so this is how it looks you can buy it from walmart you can buy it from amazon you can buy it from flipkart wherever you want to buy it from okay you can change the style of this thing it's all up to you let's change the style and see how it looks 
Okay, so this was list view. Now let's select the second one or maybe Okay, let's select this one grid with prices three columns. Okay, and see how it looks now, After you change the design you after you change the style again You'll have to copy the short code and replace the old one Let's re replace this one click on update Come back to this post refresh and let's see how it looks now Okay, now as you can see this is how it will look so you have many different designs available for you. You can use any one of them. And after that we have price history. So first let me copy the title price history. Come over here at the bottom. Just type paste in the title and this short code you'll file in uh, you'll find in the file which I have given. This is here it is price history. There are two different short codes. Okay, just copy it. The first one is still here and the second one starts from here till here. So you just have to copy both the short codes which is under price history and paste it over here. Now as you can see that two short codes, the first one is for this section. Okay, this written section and the second short code, this one is for this section, this chart section. You won't see the chart section now. The reason is very simple because we have just created this product. And to see that chart section, you'll have to, you know, your product should be at least a few days older. Only then you can see the history. You have just created it product, so you, you won't see any history, obviously. Now here you have to do one change. Always make sure you do this change. You have to change the ID, okay? Every time you create it, you use this short code, you'll have to change the ID. Now you have to put in the ID of the product which you're going, which you're going giving review to. Okay. So we are giving review about the iPhone 7. So let's see the ID of that product. At the left hand side, you'll see products. Open this link in a new tab so that we can get the ID. And let's search for iPhone 7. Here it is. Now when you hover this, you'll see this first option here. It says ID. It is 638. I hope you can see this. Copy this. Come back over here and replace this 72 with that ID. Okay. And let's see what we have next. Now after that, we have this section, the final section, which is the price alert section. So again, go to this file and copy this last short code, which is the price alert and come back over here. And after this, paste in this one. And again, don't forget to change the ID. Okay. Very, very important. Okay. So I'm putting the same ID. Now again, go at the top update and everything should be fine. This is the final setting. So let's refresh this. Okay guys, so we have the price history as you can see it is giving the price the lowest at present is at 55999 and we can see when this was recorded it was recorded on 12th of February 2008 7 p.m. fine and if the user want to get any alert about price changes of this product they can enter their email address desired price and click on start tracking. So this is very, very important guys. The reviews are very, very important. This will, you know, drastically improve your sales on your website and sales and you, it, indirectly it will increase your commissions and so on. I think I need some rest, but you don't have to worry. I'll need some, I'll take some rest. And after that, I'll continue the video. Welcome back guys. So we have seen how to create a product and how to create a review for that product. Now we'll see how to create custom accessories tab, a notice area and banners. So let's see what those things are first. So first let me show you what a custom accessories tab looks like. So let's see that product. Okay, so let's scroll down. I have shown this thing in the demo section, but for those of you who have skipped the video, you can see it from here. You get this uh, custom tab at the bottom. Okay which says accessories and combos and you sell all the accessories related to the product okay now so this is very useful we all know that whenever someone is purchasing a product there are very high chances that they are also interested in accessories and combo packs 
so this is uh, this is the you know reason behind creating this kind of product so let's see how to do that so first we we know that we have created a product which is iphone 7 so let's create a new product which includes the combo or the accessories of iphone 7 so we'll have to create a new product so how old products and click on add new and we can give it any name this will won't be shown because this will be used only as an accessory this won't be a separate you know this won't be a separate or a different uh, product altogether so i'll just type in iphone 7 accessories and uh, let's search for something we can give it a product category let's give it mobile and let's search on amazon for iphone 7 case and let's click on this search bar okay let's search again okay let's select the first one you can select any one of these it's all up to you or you can select multiple one okay suppose you are selecting this one but i don't recommend selecting multiple uh, accessories or multiple case for the same product now on flipkart let's select uh, iphone 7 earphones maybe let's see whether we have something okay so there are many things let's select the first one again obviously you'll have to see the one which you like and you have to select accordingly now once we are done with this just click on publish after you click on publish you'll see that there is a post id given to this which is 649 so this is very important we will be using this if you see in the you know in your url address bar you have this post is equal to 649 so this is the post id we have to use this thing so first go to all products now select iphone 7 this is the one iphone 7 rose gold 128 gb click on edit okay now first let's see how this looks at present so i'll just open this link in a new tab to see how it is looking so this is how it is looking at present we have only three tabs additional information videos and reviews we don't have any accessories tab so we'll have to add that so scroll down and under this section you'll see the last option is custom tabs click on custom tabs and click on add a tab you can give it any title so let's type in accessories and combo pack or just combos this accessory spelling is wrong and you can just uh, paste in the id so that you remember it it was 638 now if you see the shortcode file you'll see a file which says custom attributes and combo shortcode now copy this shortcode from here this is the shortcode for custom attributes and combos and paste it over here and just replace the id with this id okay just replace this id with this one and click on save tabs now click on update and come back to this page let's refresh and see the changes now as you can see we have a new tab over here which says accessories and combos and when we click on this okay wait a minute we have the same product i think we have done some mistake i think we you know uh, we had put the same post id which is a mistake let's see what happened actually go to custom okay okay that is the problem this is not the post id let's find out the post id so just click on open this all products in a new tab okay it's really easy to find out our post id product id and this was the one iphone 7 accessories and here it is 649 okay so come back over here let's change it to 649 instead of 638 let's delete it and let's put it 649 click on save tabs okay now click on update again come back to this page let's refresh it now again go to accessories and combos now we have it we have the headphone and we also have this armor the case whatever it is now they can also purchase the accessories and combo pack we have the image over here the title the price and the company amazon and flipkart okay so this is how we create accessories and combos tab 
now let's see how to add something in the notice area something you might be interested in adding sub bonus or some notice in the uh, in that area so let's see how to do that so again come back to this page the edit product page go at the bottom scroll at the bottom and you'll see some options over here custom short code which will be rendered near button which will be rendered before content so you can paste uh, html over here in any one of these so again in the same uh, short code button in the same short code file you'll see this thing notice area worldwide delivery you can copy this html from here and paste it in any one of this let's paste it under this one before content okay it says before content let's paste it over here uh, as you can see here it says free delivery worldwide delivery and the icon which is used is plain okay let me show you that product actually let's find out that one i think this is the one let's let me see Okay, this is the one we have used a plain icon the color is red it says free delivery worldwide post mail so this is what we have put over here okay here it is just in html format so you can use html as well if you want to change this thing you can change the uh, icon from here instead of plain you can use any icon and if you want to change the text here it says free delivery you can change the text and here it says worldwide post mail so instead of worldwide you can put in uh, maybe throughout india so free delivery throughout india okay i'm just showing you okay i think there's some spelling mistake over here okay so i'm just showing you that you can do these things you can change it like this okay now let's see let's see whether this happens or not let's update this page come back over here let's refresh this page now if you see over here it says free delivery throughout india so you can use these things if you want there is another option to use some banners or to create some banners using short codes so we can also do that so again you you can use some different short code option now now this was before content we can render this short code near button so again go to that short code page and the last one is this banner copy this short code till the end and paste it over here now from here you have to change few things for example first let let's see how it looks then i'll explain you how you can change or how you can do some changes first let's update come back to this page and refresh and let's see the changes okay here it is we have something uh, there is an image in the background okay that green image that is not a color it is an image and here we have some text 20 percent discount till the end of month and we have some border and when we hover this it is actually a link when you click on this thing it will redirect you to something or, or to somewhere so let's see how to make changes to this one again come back over here let's increase this size now here we have image url so suppose instead of this image you want to use some other image you just have to enter the url of that image okay over here you have to cut cut this thing or delete this default url and put in your url and here it says 20 percent discount so suppose instead of 20 percent discount if you want to say something else like free delivery so let's type in free delivery instead of 20 percent discount and after that it says till end of month now let let that text be the same okay you can also change the text color okay here it says white uh, the this is the code for white uh, hash f f f six times or three times f this is the hex code for white color so let's see whether these changes take place or not let's click on update come back over here and again refresh let's see the changes Okay, as you can see now instead of 20% discount it says free delivery so this is how you do all these changes this is how you create a product this is how you write a review and you use some more features additional features like accessories tab and to add some html and some banners okay i am so this is how you do it okay oh yes, so almost most of the things are ready now it's time to start creating our home page to start designing our home page so let's go to the home page first 
if you see we have we already have the home page which we want to create but suppose if you don't want to use this home page and you want to learn how to create it from scratch then i'll show you how to do it okay so first come back to your dashboard let's cut all these things now click on this button uh, plus new and select page or you can just hover pages and click on add new both the thing will do the same thing so we are adding a new page over here now let's give it a title so i'll type in home new because this is the new page which we are building and from the template you can select anything i'm selecting page for visual layout builder because we'll be using a visual builder to create this website to create this home page now after selecting this click on publish first let's go to the home page in the demo website so that we can see everything and we can create accordingly so first we'll have to create this section we have some image in the background we have this title subtitle and this search bar so let's do that come back over here now click on this back end editor to enable the visual builder editor or now it is called wp bakery page builder the name is changed earlier it was called visual builder now we have to first we have to add this title search and compare okay so to do so click on add element and search for heading custom heading so you can just type in custom heading you will get this module you or you can get this element click on this custom heading element now from here make sure custom text is selected and you just type in the text you want so i am typing search and compare okay let me cut this thing so i am typing search and compare over here element tag i am selecting h2 text align center because this text is aligned at the center then after that font size i'll put in 40 pixels uh, line height maybe again 40 pixels text color it is white but i am i'll not put in white at present uh, i'll tell you the reason very soon you can have some custom font family font style but i'll take mark over here to use the default font family and font style and click on save changes now after that we have some more text it says read our reviews and find best drone so let me put this one now click on this plus button to add a new element and let's search again for heading custom heading select this one this time type in the text you want so i'm typing read our reviews and find best drone element tag i'll select uh, h3 text align center font size maybe this is quite smaller so i'll select 16 pixels both line and height text color i won't do any changes over here i can use some different fonts and some different font style over here and you can see the font preview over here for example let me use roboto okay so i can use roboto and we can see the font preview over here it is loading at present so this is how your font will look i like this one now click on save changes and after that we have this search bar so let's put that search bar again click on this add button okay now search for a search bar search box this is the one select this one okay type of search what do you want to search make sure posts is selected where to search product okay we want to search product and make sure enable ajax search is selected now this is the reason because you know whenever you try you type something okay you get the real time search for example i typed drone and i am getting the real time results over here so when you enable ajax search that is what happens after that we have placeholder so this is the placeholder as you can see it says find best products so you can type in anything over here so i'll type in find best smartphones maybe if i am creating this website for smartphone niche then text on button so here on the button it says search so let's type in search fine color of the button you can select any color let's select uh, green and let's click on save changes now let's update this page and let's see how our page is looking at present 
Okay, let's view this page in a new tab. Let's open this link in a new tab. Okay, so this is how it is looking. Now let's see what all are, what are the different changes that we have to do. First, we have to change the color. It is not black, it is white. Okay, so we'll have to change the color. After that, we'll have to add some gap at the top. If you see, there is no gap at top of this. And here we have a nice amount of gap uh, about this title. So we'll have to add some gap over here. And we'll also have to add some gap from left and right side because our search bar in the demo website is quite smaller and we have a nice amount of gap from both the sides. So we'll have to do that as well. And we also have to put a background image as you can see this is actually a background image and after that we'll have to add some gap at the bottom okay so let's do all these things and also i noticed one thing there is no uh, there is a very nice gap between the title and subtitle but here there is a lot of gap now that is because the because of the custom thing that happens let me show you if you select this and click on inspect element you'll see that when you hover this thing you will see that there is 30 pixels of margin. So we'll have to decrease this thing. Okay. So again, come back to this page. Let's start doing thing one by one first. Let's change the color. So select the custom heading, click on this edit button, this pencil icon and go at the bottom and select the color text color and make it white. And let's change the margin. Instead of 30, we want only 10. So I'm typing margin bottom. This is the bottom margin and let's change the subtitle color. So click on this pencil button, come at the bottom and uh, we have color over here, text color again, white click on save changes. So this will change the text color for both of these and decrease this gap over here. Now uh, let's add some gap at top. Okay. Top of this thing. So there are many ways of doing that. The easiest one is to add a new element called space. Okay, empty space. This is the one. This is the easiest way of doing it. And let's add maybe 60 pixels or maybe not 60. Let's add 50 pixels. Click on save changes and let's drag this empty space at top because we want space uh, about this thing, about this heading. So this will add some space at the top and after that what we need is we want to make this thing smaller this search bar smaller we want to give some gap from both the sides so let's do that now we cannot do it like this so before that first we'll have to add a new row so click on this button again and type in row now select this row and click on save changes now drag this search bar in this new row. Okay. And we have to change the column settings because we want gap from both the sides. So we want to change the column settings. So we'll hover over here on this column settings and we'll select this one one by six plus four by six plus one by six. And we'll drag the search bar in the middle. Okay. So we have some gap from both the sides because these two columns are empty. So this will be gap and we have this search box in the middle. Fine. So everything is working fine. And also we need some gap at the bottom. As you can see below this, we have nice amount of gap. So let's add some empty space. Now we have already added some empty space. So what we can do is we can copy this. We can duplicate this. So we don't have to do it again and we can just drag this thing at the bottom. So this is also a very nice feature of using this visual builder or page builder. And we also have this background image. So let's add that background image. So to add that, we'll click on this pencil button now to edit the row because this background image is, you know, in the background of everything. It is in the background of this title, subtitle in the search box and everything is under this single row. So that's why we'll have to add the background image in the row. So click on this pencil button, edit this row. Now go to design options and here you'll see background image over here. Click on this to add a new image and you should have all the images because we have imported the demo data. So let's search for that one. I think it is this, I guess. Yeah, this is the one I guess. Select this one and click on set image. 
And after that, instead of theme defaults, select cover and click on save changes. Now let's click on update. Come back over here, refresh the page and let's see the changes. Okay, so this is looking much better, but still I think we need to do some more settings. Uh, we, not, we need some more gap at the bottom. Okay, we need some more gap at the bottom. After that, it will look something amazing like this. Okay, but most of the things are looking very much similar. Okay, as you can see, it is looking very, very much similar. So let me add some more gap. So we have empty space. It is 50 pixels. Let's increase this to maybe 110 pixels. Click on save changes. Click on update. Come back to this page. Let's refresh and see the changes now. Okay, so this is now looking much better. We have a very nice look now. Now after that, we have to add these things. And now if you no notice that I'm doing the same thing, that is basically to show you guys how to do it because you have the demo data, but you don't know how to make any changes. Now I'm showing you this so that you know how to make changes, how to do it by yourself. Okay. Even if you don't have the demo data, you can follow my instructions and you can create a very similar home page. Now let's add this section. First, we'll have to add this title and subtitle. And after that, we'll have, we'll have to add these things, the tabs, the products over here. So again, come back over here. Now this time we will not use this plus button because we are done with this row. Now we don't want to add anything in this row. As you can see over here, this was a sing different row and all these things are in different row because we don't have the same background color. Okay. We have something different. We have something different background because this is a different row. So let's add a new row. So this time we'll add, we'll use this plus button, the big one, click on add element. First, let's add some empty space at the top. So search for empty space. Here it is. And let's add maybe 60 pixels at the top. Type in 60 pixels, click on save changes. And after that, we have this title and subtitle. So let's use custom heading for that. Click on plus, type in custom heading, select this one. Type in any text you want h2 no this time i think it will be h4 because this is quite smaller than this one okay if you select h2 h2 is bigger than h4 and h1 is bigger than h2 so that is how it works so i'm selecting h4 and the alignment in center font size let's select uh, maybe 25 pixels line height uh, maybe 24 pixels Text color is fine. We don't have to change that and use the default font family. Click on save changes. After that, we have another custom heading. And this time it says discover the latest trends. So copy it and paste this text over here. Or you can obviously you won't copy and paste the text, but you will put in your own text over here. I'm just showing you how to create a very similar website. Now, instead of h1, h2, select div because if you see over here, this text is totally different. The design, the style of this text is different. So select div from here and alignment should be center. Font size, uh, let's make it quite smaller, 16 again, or maybe much smaller. Okay, 16 is fine, I guess. So let's put 16 pixels and line height to 24 pixels. And don't put any color over here or maybe I don't know yeah we have to change the color because here the color is gray color not the black color so let's select some gray color like this fine now use the font default font family and click on save changes and after that we have this section we have these products, but before that we have some gap between this subtitle and this product. So let's add some gap. Let's copy this gap and drag it over here and let's reduce this instead of 60. Let's make it uh, maybe 20 pixels. Click on save changes. And after that we'll have to add those products. So click on add new and go to this WooCommerce section. Here it is WooCommerce section. And I think it is 
it is uh, let me think it was i guess it was um, mm -hmm. i think it was this one woocommerce product carousel so select this one if you don't find it just type in carousel you will find this one woocommerce product carousel select this one now data uh, source category or type of product what type of product do you want so you can select one category to show one uh, product from a single category or you can select different type of product so I'm, I'm selecting type of product and what type of product recent product feature product sale product so because we here we have sale product so I'll select sale product from here deal filter show all after that we have data settings you can set price range for example if you don't want to show pr uh, products over hundred dollars then you can just type in zero dash hundred that will do the work okay then control make link as affiliate auto rotate number of items in a row you can control it from here once you're done click on save changes and update now come back over here okay i think update is not done again click on this update button okay now it is updating and come back to this page and refresh it okay so we have our products over here okay it is a carousel as you can see you can move it using your uh, cursor and you can also use these things these arrows so we have all these products which are on sale as you can see we these all the products are on sale so this is how you create this section now let's ads let's add create this section now this simple section but before that we'll have to add some gap at the bottom as you can see here there is some gap so let's add uh, let's copy this empty space of 20 pixels and drag it at the bottom so this will add some space below this thing which means below this and after that we'll have to add this section so copy it copy this text from here come over here and again we'll use the plus section because this is a new section a new row so use this one and we want simple heading simple custom heading and just paste in this text now element i think it is so uh, h4 i guess yeah it is h4 center font size is uh, maybe 25 pixels line height 24 pixels text color this time it's white as you can see the text color is white and the background color is black so we have text color white use the default font family yes now go to design and in the background section select black because we want black background color and click on save changes now click on update again come back to this page and refresh let's see what happens okay so this is what happens and this is looking really bad so let me fix this again come back over here we'll have to make this thing full width we'll have to make this row full width okay so come back to this page and click on this button edit this row go to design options and we have to add background color over here click on select black click on save changes and click on update again come back over here and refresh this page okay so this has solved the problem so that was the problem and after that we have some more gap below these things and then we have simple uh, title subtitle and again we have some tabs over here as you can see we have different tabs for different categories or different criteria popular product product under hundred dollars best rated products and so on so let's add that first we'll have to add some gap below it so let's do that come back over here let's copy this empty space of 20 pixels and drag it below this and now let's add a new heading and subheading for this thing for this one so add a new add this element click on this button add element search for custom heading select this one copy this find your drone now paste it over here let's make it h4 center align 
font size let's make it 25 pixels or yeah 25 pixels is fine line height 24 25 you can select anything you want default font family click on save changes now again come back to this page and now this time let's copy this subtitle come back over here click on this plus button custom heading select this paste in this text or type in any text you want h5 center align not h5 i think it is div select div center align font size is 16 pixels line height you can select 24 if you want text color select some gray color so i'm selecting 9999 and use the default font family click on save changes so this will add this title and this one and after that if you see we have a very thin uh, border over here very thin separator and after that we have some more text so let's add all these things now first we have some gap between the separators if you see we have the gap between the separator so let's add some gap let's copy this 20 pixels let's drag it over here and i think the gap is not 20 pixels but it is around 10 pixels so let's edit this and let's make it 10 pixels save changes and after that we have the separator so click on plus button select separator select this one color of the separator gray center align border one pixel element width i am selecting uh, if you select 100 100% the border this separator will go throughout the page if you select 90% it will be quite smaller if you select 50% more smaller and so on so I'll be selecting 50% and rest everything looks fine click on save changes now again some space below this separator so I'll just add this space or maybe I'll okay, yeah fine so we have some space above the separator and below the separator and after that we have this simple text so copy this from here come back over here click on this plus button custom heading again okay so let it load first you can paste in the text or you can just type in any text you want element tag i am typing div text align center font size this is quite smaller so i'll put in 12 pixels line height uh, maybe 22 pixels let's try text color gray color so you can use the same color we earlier used 999 code so just type in hashtag and six times nine this will give you a gray color use the default font family yes click on save changes so this will give you this text over here now before adding this first let's see how it looks and first let's add some gap below this one as well so let's add this 10 pixels gap and drag it at the bottom click on update come back to this page and refresh it let's see how it looks now okay so this is how it is looking and i think it is looking much better we just have to decrease this gap i think we don't need this gap okay the below gap below this separator we have to de uh, delete that separator gap okay so below this separator we have something we need we don't need this empty space so we can delete it and after that we have some space but i think we have to increase this space below this from 10 maybe 20 or 25 so let's make it 20 pixels and after that let's now add this thing very important thing this tab section so click on this plus button and search for grid product okay so we have to select this one grid of woocommerce products select this one now data source category show filter all data settings uh, fetch count the number of product you want to show for example here it is one two three four and uh, actually it is five and five so we have two columns five product at the first one five product at the bottom which is total 10 so we can type in 10 over here now control 
number of columns you want so we want five columns as you can see we have one two three four five columns over here so we will select five product page which is fine filter panel now we have to enable this this is the most important step in this uh, widget the first one is by default show all if you want to see some settings regarding this you can click on this button toggle row and you can change the label or the title for example here it says show all so you can change this label or if you want you can have this label okay so we have show all type of filter so we'll select show all post or you have some different so because it is uh, showing all the post we'll select show all post over here and we'll minimize this now let's click on add new and let's add this one product under hundred dollars okay so now again expand this one and type in the title under hundred dollars now we have to select the type of filter okay so this is very important now sort by price range we can use this one price range and we have to put in the price range we want over here so we want product under hundred dollars so we'll type in zero to hundred so zero dash hundred this will do the work now we can minimize this thing the third one is popular products so again we can click on this plus button now maximize this and in the label we can type in popular show all products no we want to select uh, let's see which one we want to select this one show hottest sorted by date so this will give us the popular products so select this one and uh, rest everything is fine so similarly you can have many different tabs and you can have multiple tabs over here so let's add three tabs and save changes and let's see what happens whether this thing looks nice or not so click on update come back to this page let's refresh it okay so we okay so we have the thing over here we have three different tabs when we click on this under 100 so we don't have any product under 100 dollars so that that's why we are not seeing anything now let's click on popular now there is nothing under popular as well and the reason is very simple because we have created all the products just now and it takes some time for the algorithm to read all the products and to select the popular products okay but after some time it will start showing everything now when you go to show all you'll see all the products over here so this thing is working and this is really looking nice now let's see what we have next so after that we have this thing but before that let's add some gap at the top i think we are we are missing some gap below this button below this next button so let's add maybe 20 pixels okay so let's copy this 20 pixels empty space and put it below this one and click on update and after that we have this section now this is uh, not you know created using the visual builder or the page builder this is actually a slider if you see we have this slider we have all the animations going on so this is created using a slider revolution so let's see how to do that it is also very easy and very interesting i love creating sliders especially using slider revolution that is a very beautiful and very nice plugin so let's come back to our home page or to our dashboard and from the left hand side you will see slider revolution click on that we don't actually have to create this slider because it is already created this is the one video youtube slider you can just use this one but i am creating one because i want to show you guys how to do that we can just we just cannot use the default one i want to you guys to learn how to create a slider so that you can you know create your own slider uh, according to your choice okay so to create a new slider first click on this button which says new slider now first make sure default slider is selected from the first step and the second step you just have to name it anything so i'm just naming it a uh, home page slider maybe i'm just naming it home page slider and here also you have to give the same name after that we have what kind of slider do you want so we want standard slider then slider layout there is auto full width and full screen i want the full screen one 
Now, what is that full screen? If you see the demo website, when you go to the slider section, if you, you see that the slider is covering the full screen, okay, it is covering my full desktop screen. Okay, so that is what full screen means. Now we have to edit some uh, data from here. For this desktop size, the size is perfect, which is 868 pixels. But for notebook, I'll have to adjust this size. I think it is fine, 768. For tablet, uh, it is, okay, so all the sizes are fine, I guess. You don't have to do any changes. Please ignore that dog barking sound from outside. I know that is disturbing, but please ignore that. Okay, let's move forward. So everything is fine over here. We just have to do one setting that is the navigation setting. So select navigation from here and enable rows because over here, if you see, we have this rows working, you know, this forward and backward row. So we have to enable it. So it is under navigation. First option, enable rows. Just make this thing on and click on save settings. Okay, so all the settings are done. Now it's time to start creating the slider. So this is the canvas. Let me do one thing. Let me, you know, decrease the size of the browser so that you guys can see everything more properly. Now, I don't know whether you can see or not. There's two thin line, blue color line. Now make sure whatever content you put over here, all those things fall under these two lines or else the user will not be able to see those content okay so first let's see what we have first we have a background color as you can see there is some different uh, something like black kind of background color in uh, over here to the slider so let's add a background color first so to do so scroll up and uh, here we have uh, where is that background type and select this colored one let me zoom in again. Okay, background type, type color and select the color from here. Now I am entering a new color. You can just select any color from here. You can select red, blue, whatever you want. I have a, you know, and if, if you see any color, you can see the changes at the background. Now I have a specific color type. So what I'll do, I'll type in that code, which is 15, 10, 10. Okay. So this is the color which we want and this is the color which is used in the demo website. Now click on OK. So we have the background color. Now after that, let's see what we have. After that, we have to put in this image. This is actually an image. Let me show you. Let's right click on over here and let's type in. Let's click on this which says open image in a new tab. Now, as you can see, this is just an image which is at the top. Now, this bottom thing is also simple image. Okay, let me show you. Oh, just right click over here and select open image in a new tab. And as you can see, this is also just image. Okay, so we have to just put in this image at the top and this at the bottom. So let's do that. Come over here. First, click on add layer and select image. Now this image will be there on your website. So let's search for that one. I don't know which one is that, but let's search. Let's see. Is this the one I think no, or maybe yes. I think yes, this is the one. No, this is not the, I don't know. Okay. Okay, 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 yeah, this is the one RIP over the name of the image is RIP over dot PNG. This is the one select it. Click on insert. Oh, yeah, here it is. And just drag this thing. Let me again zoom out and drag this thing accordingly. Okay. Fine. Now we want to add that image at the bottom. So let's search that image also. So again, click on add layer image. Now let's select the second image. Now let's scroll down. And this is the one. The image name is crystal.png. Select that. Click on insert. Here it is. Let's drag it uh, at the bottom. Let's decrease the size of this image. So you can just dec let's decrease the size more ok 
Okay, let me use it. Fine. This is looking much better. So we have the crystals, we have this. I think we need to increase, decrease the size of this one as well. More, a little bit more. Fine. So we have both the images now. And after that we have this title, whatever title you want. So here it says new day G I whatever you want. So I'll put in my own title. Come over here, click on add layer, select text or HTML and put in any title you want. So I'll type in because we have created iPhone. So let's type in iPhone 7 rose gold. Fine. And let's increase the size. So to increase the size, you have font size. Let me zoom in again. Fine. So we have the font size and line height over here. So let's increase the font size. So let's increase the font size maybe to 42 pixels and line height to anything you want. I'm putting 72 pixels. Fine. And let's put it at the middle in the middle over here. And this is looking much better. This is the title. And after that we have a subtitle as well which says check what you want to buy in this year again click on add layer text and I'll just type in check out the new iPhone although this is not the new iPhone obviously and again let's change the text font size and line height let's make it to 2020 and uh, let's bring it over here and after that, if you see, we have a video over here. So let's add a video, add layer and select video from here. Now we have to put in the YouTube ID or URL. So let's search for a video on that. Let's go to youtube.com. Let's search for iPhone 7 rose gold. Here it is. Let's copy this video copy video link address and paste it over here and we just need this thing okay the id let me zoom in a bit we just need the id so we we have we can delete all these things and we just have the id till here fine now you can click on search and you will find this video and uh, rest everything is fine just go to settings and allow full screen so that anyone who wants to see this video in full screen they can see it and click on add this video now again let me zoom out and let's okay so this is how the video looks we can put this video in the middle and at the end we have some text at the bottom which says click on the image to play the video so again let's click on add a new layer text or html Type in the text, click on the image to play the video and let's bring this thing at the bottom. Okay, so everything is done. Now main things are done. After this first, first let's save everything so that we don't miss any changes, saved changes. After that, we have to add some timing to this because if you see over here, there is some animation going on. As you can see, when the new thing comes, first the title comes, then the subtitle, then at the end, these crystals come. Okay, you can see it again, title, subtitle, video, then the crystals. So we have to add some timing to this. So again, let me zoom in a bit. First one is the title. So the title is this one iPhone 7 rose gold. So first the title comes so you can put in any timing to this one if you want. So I'm putting or maybe let's start with the images. First let's add this image so you can click on this image. Go at the bottom and you'll see this image one is selected. So this is the one. So you can click on this edit button. So when does this frame start or when does this thing starts? So if you put in 1000, then it will be one second because 1000 milliseconds is equal to one second. So here I'm putting in 100 milliseconds, which is one tenth of a second. And duration will be again just a thousand seconds, which means one second. 
Now what is this duration? Duration is the animation duration. How long the animation should go on. Okay. After that we have the second image which is the bottom crystal image. So let's select that one. Now click on edit. Now I want the crystal image to come at the last. So I'll select 1500 milliseconds. And I want the animation of the Im uh, this image should also be uh, long lasting. So I'll select 2 seconds which is 2000 milliseconds. And also if you notice over here, when this thing disappears, there is some animation for disappearing. When this thing will disappear, as you can see the crystal goes at the end. I don't know whether you noticed or not, but that goes at the end. So let's come over here and click on this edit button. And now this is the last duration. This is the duration when the animation ends. So I want 1500 milliseconds, which means after the slider changes, after this first slide changes, I want the animation for 1.5 seconds. You guys will understand what I'm doing once we do all the settings. Don't worry. Click on OK first. Then we have the title. When do you want the title to come? So I want the title to come at maybe one second and I want the animation to be very quick. So I want it 500 milliseconds, which is half a second. After that, we have the subtitle. I want the subtitle to come after the title. So I'll select 1200. Okay. And the duration, this also will be very quick, 500 milliseconds. So what I'm doing here is first the title comes, then the subtitle. Now you can see a very short, you know, demo. You can click on this play button and you can see, let me zoom out again. Now, if when I click on this button, you can see first the title comes, then it, and at the end the crystal comes. Okay, this is what happens. So this is all the animation game. Again, let's see. First the title will come. Just just keep on seeing. First the title will come, then the subtitle. At the end the crystal will come. Let me show you again. Let me play this video. Title, subtitle. At the end the crystal. Okay. So that is what it means. Let me zoom in again. Okay, so that's why we are setting timings over here. Now we have the YouTube video. When do you want the YouTube video to come? So let's select this. You can select any timing. So I want this video to come at one second. Animation should, should be very quick, 500 milliseconds. And last, the text at the bottom. So I'll select that, I'll click on edit. Again, I want this to come at one second and animation will be very quick. Fine. So we have the timing. Now we can change the animation. For example, when you click on this title and when you select animation, you can see by default fade in animation is selected for everything, but you can change the animation instead of fade in. You can select something like uh, letter fly from bottom. Let's see how the animation looks. Now the animation has changed. Okay. So you can select click on all these things and you can change the animation for everything so this is how you do these settings now i hope this is clear you can change the animation and everything will be done now this is it and click on save slide now just notice one more thing and remember one more thing these are the changes for desktop if this thing will look totally different on a smartphone if you see over here there is an icon for smartphone when you click on this now your your slider is looking terrible now you have to adjust everything according to smartphone i'm not doing that because that will take a lot of time i need another video one hour two hour video just for the slider revolution plugin it is so deep but i'm just showing you so that you don't do this mistake for example this is cell phone so you have to drag this thing under these blue lines everything Take, take this video also and you have to decrease the size of the video okay so you you click on this and you have the size of the video when you go to when you double click on this one you'll get to sizings and uh, i think where it is okay i think uh, i think we have to decrease it from here okay yeah from here just decrease it from here fine Okay, so you have to decrease the size of the video also according to the mobile, you have to decrease the size of the image. Okay, let is let me do it. 
decrease the size of the image and put it at the top and also the image at the bottom here it is decrease this size as well let me do this okay this is okay here it is okay so make sure you see all these settings now this is how it will look on a cell phone let's play it okay you can see the animation so just make sure you don't miss this thing and also select the this one the tablet and laptop and do all the settings respectively after you do all the settings just click on save slide now come back to this page and let me first zoom in to normal fine this is the normal settings now we have completed till here after that we have to add this slider which we have just created so edit this page in a new tab and let's get rid of this one now let's scroll down till the bottom now click on this add button search for slider revolution select this one revolution slider and select this slider which we have just created which i think this is the one home page slider click on save changes click on update come back to this page and refresh it Okay, so this is how your slider is looking at present. Fine, so this is how it looks. Let's see what we have next. After that, we have the last section. Okay, we have this title, subtitle, then we have the posts. So let's do that. Come back to this page, scroll down. We have seen already how to do this slider. Sub uh, uh, sub we have already seen so many times how to put that heading and subheading. So we'll do, we won't do that thing again. We'll just add this our news uh, heading and this post. So first click on this plus button and search for news and select this thing news sticker. Now label what should it say now here it says news as you can see it says news. So type in news over here category name which is the category name which you want to show over here you have to type in the category name for example here it is drone news okay the category name is drone news so i'll type in drone news now this is the category name for the post or the reviews which we have created okay so make sure you put this name over here number of posts to show you can select five you can increase or decrease the number and uh, now click on save changes this will add the ticker new sticker and after that we have this post so let's add that again click on this plus button and search for post and i think it was let's see this is the one post grid in columns we have to select this one post grid in columns category or tag what you want we want categories and you can select any specific tag the category to show over here uh, you can exclude some category to to be shown over here it's all up to you you can exclude some tags or you can include only few tags it's all up to you. you can you have all the controls over here fine so we don't have to do much changes over here just click on save settings and click on update now come back to this page and let's refresh it okay so we have these things over here okay we have six different posts and after that let's see how to change all these things we have to change the footer section for example instead of uh, this thing we want to write something about our own company instead of all these different links we want our own links and we have to change this newsletter thing over here okay so let's see how to do that come back to this page and now from the left left hand side you will see appearances how are appearances and click on widgets and first one is footer widget one at the at the top you will see text which is about us now this is the one which is used over here okay about us the title and after that we have some text now suppose if you want to add in your own text then you can just delete this text which is recompare this mod modern all-in-one price comparison blah 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 and you can add in your own text about about your own text okay so this is footer one now we have footer two again it is the same thing it is simple text you can see this we have some text over here uh, product for review 
and all these things instead of this you can add your own uh, links over here it's all up to you okay you you can uh, de-link you can remove the link you can select this thing and you can link it to some different page and so on it's all up to you click on save if you are satisfied now for this this also is same same link is very simple thing now this is something uh, different and we have to see how to do this so let's see how to do that go to footer 3 okay first if you want to change the text from here it's here it says newsletter sign up for weekly newsletter and all this text if you want to change this text select the first one and change the text if you want now the second one is the most important which is the custom html you have some code over here now we have to change this code okay so this is uh, integrated with mailchimp so go to mailchimp.com and if you want to learn more about mailchimp you can go to my channel and i have a video on uh, you know email marketing free email marketing using mailchimp i recently uploaded that i guess okay i think that is gone uh, i uploaded it more than a month ago so okay let me see first i'll try to give this link in the video description below here is the video two months ago free email marketing mailchimp tutorial you can watch that video one hour long video to understand more about mailchimp okay so come back over here click on login if you don't know more about email marketing or mailchimp go watch that video everything will be fine okay or you can just follow my steps i have already created an account so that's why i'm logging in if you are not created an account watch that video learn how to create an account how to create a list how to build a form and everything then you can follow the tutorial okay or you can just watch it and you can come back later on and you can do this step now we have to change this thing because this is the default things and we want when someone enters their email address we want this email address to be collected by my account so it is very simple go to lists and select any one of the list you want or just create a new list so we have i'm selecting this list nayer there are three subscribers at present now what i'll do is i'll select this list and now go to sign up forms and go to embedded forms fine now here in the in this uh, text code we we are searching for some uh, code now let me show you an easy way go to super slim okay so it will be more easier to find the code now here it is form action okay this is the code we need so select the form action and we need this much code everything that is under this thing okay this much code F under everything form action select this Control C, copy it, come over here and replace this with this one. Okay, now zoom in and try to see what I'm replacing. Okay, select this one, delete it and under action, paste it, you paste in your own code which you copy from here. Okay, now click on save. Now come back to this website, refresh it now let's see whether it is working or not now let's put a new email address first let's go to our list okay as you can see we have three subscribers now once we put the new email address uh, the subscriber should increase so new. okay so i'm putting some random email address clicking on subscribe okay so we are subscribed let's see it becomes four or not let's refresh the list okay now as you can see it has become four which means this is working so we are successful so the footer section is also done now let's see what is left i think this is left now the bottom footer now we have to change this thing wpsoul.com and we have to put in our own name we, we also have to change this logo from here we want to put in our own logo so come back over here and at the left hand side you'll see theme options click on theme options now from here select footer options from the left hand side and this is the footer image if you see over here the footer image 
this is the one used you can change it you can remove it and you can do it anything you want and this is the footer text 2017 now it is 2018 2018 and it is not wp soul i'm putting my website name over here blogdo.com design all right reserved and you can put in your own logo instead of this logo you can upload your own logo over here so i don't have any logo to upload now so i'll i'll just leave that click on save changes come back to this website refresh it let's see the changes come at the bottom as you can see 2018 blogtoot.com and all these things okay now let's see how to change this menu so again come back over here hover appearances and click on menus fine so we already have one menu over here if you don't want this menu what you what you can do is you can just tick untick this thing primary menu and click on save menu and let's add our own menu let's create a new menu for us so click on this create a new menu and let's name it anything so i am naming it new menu click on create menu and make sure to tick mark this thing primary menu only then it will become your main menu and it will show up over here now let's see what all page we need over here first thing is we need the home page okay then we need the my account page the shop page cart page and all the pages which you need my wish list page and click on add to menu and you can adjust it and according to your choice click on save menu okay let's refresh the page and let's see the changes okay so as you can see we have home page my account card my wish list and so on now if you want to add you know cool uh, emojis like this one you can easily do so i think the website is emojipedia yeah it is emojipedia.org go there search for one for example let's search for heart okay orange heart beautiful heart sparkling heart let's select this one sparkling heart and just copy it okay just select it or you can just click on this button which says copy and come back to this menu select the my wish list and before my wish list just add this heart click on wish click on save menu come back to your website refresh it and you have your emoji over here so similarly for all these things you can add your own emojis okay guys so i think this is it for this video i hope this video was helpful to you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it obviously there are still few things left but i think uh, uh, we need some different videos i'll be creating more bonus videos on this particular subject because if we go to cover each and everything i'll think that will take a lot of time that will take more three four hours i guess because it is just you know it is really a very vast topic with a very different kind of website we can add many different things but at the last don't forget to do few things first delete all the uh, pages and all the uh, demo products which you downloaded for example when you go to products because we have imported the things so we get all the imported uh, all the products which are imported so from here you can delete all these products and just leave the iphones or whatever product which you have created okay so we can you can select all these products and click on delete also delete the categories and so on if you don't know where you have your category you have under products you have the categories you can just select this thing bulk action delete click on apply and everything will be deleted okay so to make sure you do all these things this is very important so that you don't have the demo data on your website okay and also uh, for example we uh, i forgot one more thing we created a page called home new i guess home new this was the page yeah this is the page which we created now this is not yet our home page we created our home page but we have not set this as our home page so if you want to set this as your home page you go to your dashboard and hover over settings which is let me see here it is settings and i think it is under readings click on reading yeah here it is home page now select this and select home page new home new this is the one home new and click on save changes 
Now when you refresh this page home new thing should be gone which will mean that we, this page is now set as our home page. Let's refresh. Now as you can see that thing is gone. Now this thing is set as our home page. So these few things were left. Uh, I think I know there are still many things left but you no know, I have to cover them in another video because this video is already a very long video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any doubt any suggestions for me any request for me you can leave them in the comment section below please let me know how you like this video if you like it give a thumbs up to this video also click on that subscribe button and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos thanks a lot for watching guys see you very soon